What do you do when a rain shower suddenly lets loose on you out of nowhere? What if the wind in your sails could keep that rain from falling on your parade? We're making projects out of common materials, and today we're making an umbrella out of cardboard. Now, clearly, by itself, cardboard does not make a very good umbrella. However, when combined with the power of air, it can keep us dry and living that good life. We're making an air umbrella out of cardboard, and it's going to work. Imagine you just parked your car in a large department store parking lot. But it's raining outside, there's wind blowing all about you. As you walk in, you get soaked and chilled to the bone. But going through the door, you feel a surge of air coming from above, and the environment completely changes. What was rainy and cold and windy outside is now climate controlled. That's known as a commercial air curtain. We're planning on using the same principles that the air curtain uses to create our air umbrella, which is to take a kinetically charged stream of air to create a partial barrier between environments. But for us, instead of inside and outside, we're going to be creating a barrier between us and the sky. The air umbrella was first forged in a Kickstarter campaign in the year 2014, but fraught with financial, manufacturing, and physics challenges, it failed to ship. Thus, fact became legend. Legend became urban myth, where it was passed between news outlet and news outlet to news outlet, suggesting it was real when it never was. And then, some things that should not have been forgotten were lost, until the air umbrella ensnared a new bearer with Action Lab when he did a video on this recently, where he did an exceptional job highlighting a number of these challenges. But let's stick with just the physics challenges. So if you're in the middle of a rainstorm and the rain is falling at its terminal velocity of around 10 meters per second, and you're holding your umbrella about 50 centimeters above your shoulders, assuming your shoulders have about 30 centimeters in radius from your body, you have 1 20th of a second to clear 30 centimeters. So from the moment the rain contacts the airstream from our umbrella, it needs to be accelerated laterally up to six meters per second. This means that our airspeed needs to be considerably higher than six meters per second. Now that's only part of our problem because we're not just trying to block in a single direction. We have a disc that we're trying to protect, which means we have not just a velocity challenge, but a volumetric challenge. Uh, how much air are we pushing out from this at that velocity? And so that gives us this challenge of our speed declining as a function of a radius squared. So our speed needs to be considerably higher than we would otherwise need for a commercial air curtain. So we're gonna work through a number of different designs, different radiuses, different RPMs for our motor, but just suffice to say, we have our work cut out for us. So we are, uh, we're testing the air umbrella for the first time. We've got our simulated rain shower. Here we are with our uh, rather uh, interesting setup where we would go and, let me switch hands and try not to short anything. Where when we switch it on, we, and we switch it off. Test one of the air umbrella make simulate some sky falling distance test one of air umbrella three two one
I think I'm still getting pretty wet. It is uh, practically not deflecting at all. So we're dealing with, we're getting somewhere. The challenge is that uh, our, our airspeed is not nearly enough to, uh, to achieve a, a true and effective deflection. Uh, when the, uh, the water has almost no downward velocity, we are getting enough deflection, but the moment we move down further, it's just not in the stream of the air for long enough to, uh, to truly achieve deflection. So you may be wondering why my voice is not matching my lips on this screen. Well, that's actually because I forgot to plug in my microphone for this take. And we actually broke something in some of our testing. If you want to see that video, it's at the end, so stick around. But as you can see, we're working with a slightly taller impeller design. Based on some of our testing, we were finding that the longer that the water was able to interact with our airstream, the more effectively we were able to accelerate it. So as you can see, we're getting really pretty reasonable deflection here in our testing, but there's a consistent flaw that we're finding through all of our designs, and that is they have a tendency to be air starved. And that comes from the ratio of input to output surface area. As you can see, we have a considerable amount of output surface area, but a very small amount of input surface area. We'll be working on that in future designs. But on a positive note, we are seeing incremental improvement. Now I know what some of you might be thinking. That was a far cry from, and it's going to work. But we made a lot of progress going from something that was deemed more or less impossible to going through multiple prototypes of different radiuses to different thicknesses to different uh, impeller and, uh, and blade configurations to something that was getting progressively more and more successful. And that's typically how innovation happens. You go through multiple rounds of design, development, and prototype. And so I think we're on a path towards true success in making a working air umbrella. Uh, and that's kind of the goal of this channel is to go and to look at questions or problems or things that could just be better and approach them with innovative thought or cross-disciplinary approaches or lateral thinking where we go and say, how has this not been thought about before? Uh, so if you liked how we did this project, you found uh, the style fun, um, or you just like asking big questions that uh, you wanna see have answers, uh, I'd ask that you subscribe, that you hit the bell uh, for notifications, and that it'd be great to hear your feedback in the comments. And we'll see you in the next video, and we'll see you on the next version of the Air Umbrella. Thanks. Here we have it. We've got the uh, the case where it uh, we started it up. As you can see, it's a little unbalanced right there. And then we're queuing the water. And in a moment, we get to see why there's no more testing. And click. Well, leads break sometimes.